This video lesson is part of my video course that teaches how to deploy Spring Boot microservices on AWS Elastic Container Service. For other video lessons in this course, please check description of this video. In the following lessons, we will use Amazon Developer Tools to perform continuous integration and continuous deployment for one of our microservices. And in this lesson, I want to give you a brief introduction to what we are going to do. Let's say that you are working on a feature to be added to user's microservice. Initially, all code that you write will be on your local computer in a local Git repository. And once you are ready to deploy your code, you will push it to a remote Git repository hosted on AWS CodeCommit. CodeCommit is a source control service. It is very secure, it is highly scalable. You can use it alone or you can use it with your team to collaborate on a source code. Very much similar to how you use GitHub or Bitbucket. There are differences, obviously, but I'm not going to discuss these differences in this lecture. All right. So AWS Code Commit is a developer tool that you use to collaborate on a source code. To build your source code and to run tests in the cloud, Amazon provides us with Code Build tool. Code Build can pull your code from a repository either in Amazon Code Commit or from a repository on GitHub, for example. Code Build will get a new version of your code, it will build it, and it will execute test cases. So, AWS Code Build is a fully managed service that compiles your source code, runs test cases, and produces ready to deploy software packages. And you will learn how to create Code Build projects in the following lessons. Once your application code is built and all test cases are successful, it can be deployed to AWS. And to manage code build deployment, Amazon provides us with another developer tool that is called Code Deploy. Code Deploy will take software packages produced by Code Build and it will deploy them to a destination platform. And in our case, it will be Amazon Elastic Container Service. So, Amazon Code Deploy is a service that automates code deployments. It helps us to rapidly release new features and avoid downtime during deployment. And to make this process of building and deploying of our code automatic, we will use another developer tool that is called Amazon Code Pipeline. Code Pipeline will orchestrate the work between these developer tools and will make the process of building and deploying of our application automatic. For example, as soon as we push code to Amazon Code Commit, Code Build will automatically pick up the latest code and it will start building it. If the build is successful, Code Deploy will pick up the result and it will automatically deploy our application to Amazon Elastic Container Service. This entire flow will start and complete automatically. So, Amazon Code Pipeline is a fully managed continuous delivery service that helps you automate your release pipelines for fast and reliable application and also infrastructure updates. Now, as a specialist who uses these tools to deploy Spring Boot applications on AWS, there are three very important processes that you need to understand. These are continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. Let's have a look at them next. Now, let's start with continuous integration first. To implement continuous integration, you will use two Amazon Developer Tools, and these are Code Commit and Code Build. Code Commit allows developers to commit their code as often as needed, and you and your team can design different branching strategies to merge and deploy source code in Code Commit repositories. Code Build will be used to build application code once you merge your updates to Code Commit repository. It will also be used to run test cases and report back to you whether the build is successful or not. And this process is called continuous integration. So, continuous integration is a software development practice where developers regularly merge their code changes into central repository, after which automated builds and tests are run. And one of the main goals of this process is to find and address bugs quicker, improve software quality, and reduce the time it takes to validate and release new software packages. So, if we go back to our pipeline, then continuous integration is the very first part of the release process. Another very important part of the release process is called 
Continuous Delivery. Continuous Delivery is a software development practice where code changes are automatically prepared for release to production. As you can see on the diagram, continuous delivery process includes continuous integration, but it expands upon continuous integration by deploying code changes to a testing environment or a staging environment after the build stage. This entire flow will kick in and will complete automatically as soon as we push code change from our local computer to a code commit repository on AWS. And you will learn how to do it in the following lessons. And to make it all work together, we will create a pipeline. Pipeline is a continuous delivery service that helps us automate this release process. And we can also configure a pipeline to implement a very similar process that is called continuous deployment. As you can see on the diagram, continuous deployment process is almost exactly the same as continuous delivery process, except that there are a couple of differences. The first difference is that with continuous delivery, every code change is built, tested, and then pushed to a non-production environment, testing or staging environment. But with the continuous deployment, the code is pushed to a production environment. And another difference between continuous delivery and continuous deployment is the presence of manual approval to update production. The continuous delivery process will require a manual approval to update production. But with the continuous deployment, the production happens automatically without explicit approval. All right, so this was a very brief and basic introduction to Amazon Developer Tools, continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment practices. In the following lessons, you will learn how to use each of these tools to build a pipeline that will build and deploy your code as soon as we push new changes to AWS Code Commit Repository. All right, so let's continue.